Hey guys, welcome back to another video today, and yesterday something huge happened that not a lot of people are talking about, and I want to go over it. Because yesterday you could actually buy retired or limited vehicles, including retired vehicles like the Leo, the Brulee, any limited vehicle, basically anything that was retired, you could have actually bought and owned it in the game of Jailbreak. And I'll explain how that even happened. And yes, there were some people that actually owned Leah's spaceship, and I'll show exactly how it happened, including footage footage of the Leah spaceship, yes. Anyway, before we jump right into the video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe because it really helps me a lot. Anyway, let's go ahead and just jump right in. So how did this exactly work? And you might be really confused, but yesterday this trading hub was actually not out yet because there was no trading update. Today there's the trading, trading is already out, but yesterday trading was actually still in its testing phase and an exploiter actually got his hands on the trading hub before it, you know, was supposed to go public yesterday when the trading comes out. Okay, that English doesn't make sense, but you guys understand what I mean. They were able to get the trading hub before trading was supposed to be out. The exploiter I'm talking about is none other than Hazed. You might recognize this name because a few days ago I actually made a video about him actually leaking the trading hub, well, the outdated version, like a few, a few days ago I, I basically made that video. But he strikes again because now he actually has the the latest one and surprisingly he found that in the trading hub you could actually spawn in a retired vehicle and actually buy it so yes he actually got hands on the latest trading hub and he found that if you just spawn in like if you own a retired vehicle and someone who went to the trading hub and did not actually own it they could actually buy it and actually own it and yeah, that all started happening. It went was pretty crazy. However, the good thing is that this was not that widespread. It wasn't public. We only sort of found out after Asimo confirmed that it happened, like, I think a few hours later. Asimo says over here from this person who says, still waiting on the rollback on players who bought retired cars today illegitimately. And Asimo says, ah, that's easy. And less than 100 people were involved. Tiny compared to the tens of thousands who owned even the rarest of items. Their rollback should happen later today, which already happened. So one of the people that actually got their hands on the Leah spaceship was actually Finder. And uh, he actually was nice enough to show me around with it, you know, during the time that he actually had it. So here's some footage up on screen right over here. I was literally freaking out about how he was able to get the spaceship. And he told me a little bit about it. In fact, we even did a power plant speed run, which I can show you how much cash I actually got. Okay, so Finder just said that he will show me around with the Leah spaceship that he got. And uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna see if this is real or not. All right, I'm actually gonna see. Like, is this actually real? Let me turn on the gravity. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and do this. All right. Okay, super, super happy face gang. Let's actually see. You ready? Okay. Uh, yes, I'm ready. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. What? <laughs> what? Oh my goodness, it's actually real. It is actually real. It's actually real. Do you hear that sound, guys? Yeah, it's Leo's spaceship. Like, oh my goodness, no way. I just don't believe this. Like, how could this be real? Okay, so I'm voicing over this now, so right over here is where Fender basically invited me to do a power plant speedrun to show actually how fast it was and stuff, and how much money I could get, so this is where I just started doing that, and uh, yeah, he says over here, I'll take you for a delivery if you like, and of course I just said yes, so I did the power plant speedrun. I'm actually kind of curious what Leah thinks about this. Like, I don't think Leah has been active in the jailbreak community for a while. I haven't seen her around. Uh, but I'm actually wondering how she feels about this. I mean, she probably doesn't even know because, uh, you know, this is not that widespread. But, you know, maybe after this video, she might actually find out. Anyway, right over here, I sort of, like, panicked, I guess. I mean, I didn't... I, I was able to do the speedruns. Here you go. Look at that. Watch my epic power plant skills or I'm just doing everything. Yeah, I'm, I was pretty fast on this one, so I'm actually kind of proud of it. Yeah, look at that me solving everything and uh, yeah i don't think i took damage here no i don't think i took damage and yeah right over there yeah so this power plant was a pretty fast run i'm kind of proud of it and i went over here and got in the spaceship pretty quickly 
All right, so I'm arriving at the criminal base over here, and check it out. This is a pretty cool view of the Leah spaceship, and here we go. Uh, as you can see, I still have quite a lot of cash on me, and 6,660 cash. Like, that is pretty good. Yeah, and that also reminded me, like, I haven't actually seen Leah or Leah's spaceship since, like, the last time I was recording the Leah spaceship video, and that's when I joined her, and she showed off her spaceship to me. And I actually haven't seen her or the spaceship then. I mean, obviously... She's the only person in the spaceship, and it's funny how, like, th we can actually get to see the spaceship now, like, look at that. This is, this is just crazy. So yeah, I just was chatting with Fender about this, about what Leah would actually think of us just driving her spaceship around. Um, but yeah, that's what I was basically doing over here. I don't really remember much, but, you know, I was just sort of just freaking out right now. I'm just voicing over this because, you know, I really have no idea. But another thing is, I think Finder was talking about another thing. He says, theoretically, I could trade this. Yes, yeah, so Finder could actually trade this, but unfortunately, he's getting rolled back, so he would not be able to trade Leah's spaceship when trading comes out. Yeah, so check that out. That was pretty crazy, right? So <laughs> he was able to get the Leah's spaceship, and I think only four people were able to get it. But about, like, other people, you know, when people actually got on the trading hub when it was leaked they were able to get like the Bruley and agent airtail any retired vehicle you name it they're able to get it but it's all rolled back now uh, but just keep in mind that we're not actually able to get any seasonal vehicles so like the torpedo the arachnid or you know any like you know from the latest season they're not able to get that but limited vehicles yes for some reason they were able to get it and uh also keep in mind that Hayes actually found a way to spawn in Leah's spaceship so they can get it. So that's also an, another interesting thing. Anyway, so this is what Hayes said about it. So as you can see, there's some footage of him you know, going around with the spaceship. Like, that's crazy. We'll watch it in a little bit. But uh, he says over here, for those of you who don't know, me and Agzigson were able to get our hands on the Leah. Around 7 GMT. This was a bug in the purchase system of the new trading game that allowed users to purchase non-seasonal limited items. And yes, all the data will be rolled back. But uh, check it out. So here's the, the video of him with the Leo. It's 22 seconds long. And he just goes ahead and flies it in jailbreak. Because, you know, the trading game also saved the data in jailbreak as well. So, yeah, look at that. They were able to have the Leo spaceship. That is just, like, crazy, man. But over here, he also says, Hayes also says over here, only four of us got hold of Leah through this vulnerability. Me, Isaacson, Finder, and one of my closest friends. Lastly, yes, we reported this issue as soon as we found it. Unfortunately, the devs were asleep at the time. Time zones suck. And the bug was only patched after it was found by the public. Dang. So yeah, it's that crazy that people were able to get the limited items and stuff. They were able to get limited vehicles and retired vehicles. I'll just call it retired vehicles. Um, but the thing is, a lot of people probably might be like, Oh, I wish I was there to get it. But the thing is, you would have got a rollback anyway. Everyone who bought a retired vehicle or limited vehicle, they, yeah, they got rolled back. So even if you did buy it, yeah, Simo would have found out through logs and would have rolled you back to where you once were. So, yeah, it was pretty crazy. I, I just wonder what will happen if this was, like, known but wasn't public. So what if, like, a lot of people did it? Then it was would have definitely been m a bigger pain just to get rid of this. This sort of reminds me back, like, back in January where Asimo actually allowed, like, uh, the time, you know, the admin commands. You're able, actually able to change the time, and someone actually abused that to be able to get a billion cash because they got, like, infinite paychecks and stuff. Sort of reminds me about how broken Jailbreak was, uh, but luckily this one, well, this time, Jailbreak didn't get that broken, so, yeah. Only 100 people were able to abuse this, and they got rolled back pretty easily. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Yeah, it was really, really crazy that all this happened. And uh, yeah, have fun trading. I'll have a video for a demand list very soon. And I have a lot of cool videos planned, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!